As the 2023 general election draws closer, concerns have been raised on the issues surrounding voter education, voter apathy, and the fact that the electorate are not being carried along on electoral processes. Our correspondent Jacinta Obiku takes a look at the issues. Voter education has become necessary to ensure electorates are aware of their rights, the political system, civic responsibility, and their interests. On the street of Lagos, a large percentage of respondents know little or nothing about how to get their permanent voter's card. The voter's card is even more important than voting. Because once in any way you go, even if you go to like you want to open an account, they will ask you of your voter's card. I don't know how to get my voter's card, but I'll find a way to get it. Actually, I don't know much about the online registration. The only process I know is just to go to the nearest local government. Me and I'm talking, I haven't actually got to mine. But um, it's something that I have um, plans of getting. So I don't really know. I'm not in on the details on how to get it. I stay at Ikorodu. Yes. And I also that there is no vacancy in Ikorodu. I should go to Yaba. That is the frustrating part of it. But in the first place... A political analyst, Gadwin Etakubibu, is not blaming the electorate for not participating in the country's electoral process. He believes a majority of Nigerians feel betrayed by the performances of the elected and as a result, keep away from the pools. You don't blame the people so much. One, poverty has reduced people's knowledge to nothing. You're talking of uh, online registration, which made it easier. But in the first place, how many of them have light to power the laptop that they will use to do the registration online? How many of them are really uh, technologically compliant? Even though it is INEC's statutory exactly duty to conduct voter and civic education and promote the knowledge of a sound democratic process, Itaki Bebu believes that INEC can only try but cannot do all. So INEC will be trying, we shall be trying, the government shall be trying, the political parties shall be trying, and by the time they will be making effort. But to say that, oh, only INEC, no. And let's keep telling the people that. Failure to participate by use of your PVC, permanent voter's card, charge yourself vicariously liable for whoever that imagine. I want to appeal to Nigerians that the commission spends money, the country spends money to print these permanent voter's cards. And when we spend money to print them, and we spend money in terms of paying registration officers uh, to go uh, 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 for the purposes of distributing some of these permanent voters' cards, and people do not come to collect. It, it, it doesn't tell well of us as a people and as a country. So I think that we must realize the power in the, in the PVC and make sure that we collect our permanent voters' cards if we have taken the pains uh, to carry out uh, registration. As Nigeria moves towards the 2023 general elections, the Commission and other stakeholders need to rekindle and restore the confidence of Nigerians in the electoral process. Jacinta Obuku, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.